Hello YouTubers and thank you for joining us for our weekly interactive coding scenario courtesy of AMCI. These scenarios are recorded live from our classroom in our weekly group study sessions. Each week we will cover a different section from the CPT manual, so please subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out. As we go through the weekly scenario, please feel free to solve along with us to strengthen your coding skills. Hope you enjoy. Here are the tools you will need to solve the weekly scenarios. Uh, your CPT and ICD-10-CM manual. The current year is preferred. However, if you have older versions, feel free to use them. The TTT manual is ANCI's Test Taking Techniques Manual, and it is highly recommended when learning medical coding. And also, if you are in a medical coding career already, it is very useful as well. It is ANCI's Test Taking Techniques and all the important guidelines for procedural and diagnostic coding. It also includes the auditing charts you will see us utilize in our e and auditing scenarios. You can always download a free auditing chart from the AAPC website. However, if you do prefer the ones that we use, they are included in the purchase of the TTT manual available at amcicoding.com. And this week we will be coding <laughs> okay, here you go. And okay. thank you, Miss Joy. No problem. All right, coders, we're going to start with the answers. We have A, 33244, 33241, modifier 51, 33240, B, 33262, C, 33236, 33202, modifier 51, 33206, modifier 51, and D. 33241, 33240, modifier 51, 33233, modifier 51. A patient required a battery change for a single chamber pacing cardioverter defibrillator system. The battery was taken out in a subcutaneous fashion and a new battery placed. The cardioverter defibrillator was then reattached to the electrodes, which were intact and tested and the scan pocket was then closed. How should these services be reported? You have two minutes and your time starts now.
And last time, Ms. Rochelle. All right, thank you, Ms. Joy. I think we gave them a little bit extra time on this one, right? But yes, we did. I'm glad because I am seeing a lot of great, great keywords here, great answers. Thank you, Ms. Joy. All right. Right now, make sure that you, when you are putting your keywords, consider those FTRs. And if you haven't written your FTRs, you probably didn't because we have, we all have our new manuals, but make sure later on when you have your FTRs, put them under, you know, under this code range in your page. So you will have them as a guide. Pick out the keywords that really will help you into coding this, okay? Seeing a lot of keywords here, but like literally a lot. <laughs> uh, but we can get practicing on that. That's what we're here for. So no worries. I do see some great answers here. Great job, Katina, Althea, fantastic Jeanette, Deborah. Y'all did great. Some of you missed this and I'm gonna try and, ex well, not really explain this to you, but one thing that I can, my tip for you guys, if you have the TTT manual and I'm going back to the FTR, that really is how the best way to solve um, pacemakers and defibrillators. Sometimes um, reading through this, overthinking this leads you to the wrong code. The only key thing is you have to know what you're coding for. You have to know your what. So I'm going to go, let's do that together since this is our first group study anyways, let's take it slow. So I want you to tell me in the chat. So what did you have? What are your procedures you're coding for here? Let me know your what's following the um, FTRs. Okay, go ahead and type in in the chat. What are you coding for? What is the procedure? Um, are we coding for a pacemaker, a defibrillator? We're gonna go back to basic on this one. Perfect, Tiffany, anyone else wanna try? Okay, good job, Katina. You're saying defibrillator. Okay, battery change. Okay, I like that one. Good job, Kitwana. Okay, so um, how? What about how? Did you get your answers to your how? Okay, some of you are seeing um, single lead. I like that. That's great. Okay. Yes, yeah, subcutaneous. So those are the really keywords that you need, you guys. So when you are highlighting this, you should only have those keywords as your guide and answer them with your keywords. So when you are saying what, so you're saying here, you're coding for a defibrillator, battery change, so that should reflect in your keywords. So you have your battery there, change, single chamber, cardio, uh, a uh, cardioverter defibrillator system. So we know that that's what you're coding for. That's our what. Battery, that's another what. Taken out, that's a procedure. Subcutaneous, that's our how. Okay, so see how I'm highlighting my keywords here. New battery is placed. So that actually kind of makes sense. Reattach, we have, also I should have that electrodes and skin pocket is closed. Okay, so that's all I need. So if I put that together, these are my keywords basically. Some of them are repeated, but um, if you see what I mean, I don't have that much because too many words in here actually could lead you, mislead you somewhere. So actually the answer here is going to be B. So, so those of you who got this correctly, great job, congratulations. For those of you who got this wrong, perfect. So I am try, I'm going to try and help you learn here, okay? So um, that's actually priceless if you're going to get something from, from this scenario. So I'm putting back my um, keywords there, key, key, keywords. <clears throat> so excuse me. So if we could take a look at this. So the first thing we know that we're coding for a defibrillator. So I want you to take a look at these codes. Um, the first um codes that we have there first listed codes are so different from each other so we're gonna have to go ahead and look it up and see if they match our keywords so if you look at 33236 there can you recognize what this is coding for let me know in the chat so if you chun this one well too really for this as well chun and keywords is really 
is the winner for this one. So 33236, this is a code for, can you recognize right off the bat? Perfect. There you go. Yes, Ms. Patricia. Great, great job. So you said this is coding for a permanent epicardial pacemaker. So from here on, this 33236, which is found in your um, C there, boom, take that out because that is wrong. Okay, don't need to deal with the rest of them. We are thinking about your CPC exam here and we want to save time. Okay, is everyone following along? Because I think some of you, some might have um, chosen C. So that's the reason why C is um, wrong. Okay, so your what change everything. You know, when you pull out your defibrillator, then you know that is what you're coding for and you're given a code for pacemaker, boom, that's out. The next thing. If we look at 33240, this is in fact a code for a defibrillator, so we have to be very careful with this one. This is for your insertion. So looking back in our keywords, it is actually a replacement. So that means that something has been taken now and then replaced. So um, probably going to hold on to this, and that's okay. That makes sense if you hold on to this code because this is an insertion of an implantable defibrillator. We have a single lead. And we know in our keywords that we're coding for a single chamber, so that kind of makes sense. So we'll keep going. We'll keep that in mind. Um, the next thing in that code there is 33241 with modifier 51. Um, that is for the removal. So you put them together, insertion removal kind of makes sense too. And this is for your generator. So you have your generator there, and then you have your gen generator there um, also. Hmm, that something is fishy there. So if you look at your, um, if you look again at your Q um, code descriptions, um, that is for um, both of them are coding for um, pulse generators. So now you might wonder, oh, something might be going on here. And look, never ever forget to read your parenthetical guidelines, especially in this section. It's very important because if you look and read. Out here on that second paragraph, do not report 33241 in conjunction with those codes. And if you look back in your answers A there, you have those 33241 and 33240 for both of them. That's what we were wondering about earlier. And that guideline is telling you not to do both. Therefore, you don't even need to deal with it. Go ahead and eliminate it, okay? I think some of you did chosen this one. So um, like I said, the parenthetical guidelines really is going to be your guide for this one. Just follow along with it and you should be fine. OK, you guys OK with that one? Yes, that's true. When you are in a hurry, you do really you actually you can make that mistakes. And I really honestly, this is where I always make mistakes when I was a student, too. So I can definitely um relate to that i think what would help if you are going to actually chun this like i said so maybe chun this insertion and generator and then remove all generator then you would look at them and say hey both of them are generators something might be wrong and like i said never ever forget your parenthetical guidelines okay so I'm going to go ahead and continue. So 33241 and 33240 also is found on your D, which was, we now know at this point that there's a do not report code, code there. So now we eliminated D and you're left with 33262. So all we need to do, and also if you continue to read here, it's actually telling you as well how to code that. Removal and replacement of implantable defibrillator pulse generator it's giving you these codes. So that's here, 33262. So we're going to go ahead and um, confirm that. And 33262 is actually a removal of an implantable defibrillator and in this code language with replacement. So removal and replacement, boom, keywords are there. Pulse generator and then single lead. So everything we need is actually here. So all you need is that code 33262. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm actually going to take you to this chart for those of you who love charts like I do. Um, basically, if you pull out your keywords as well, 
you just go to this chart and then same thing goes following your FDRs, your keywords. And here are your procedures. You go down to your post uh, removal with replacement. This is for your um, pulse generator, which is what we're coding for. And then you go to the column where it says defibrillator and it's giving you the exact same code, 33262. So if that works for you as well, you like this way or the other way, anything that helps or anything that makes sense to you, go for it. But definitely just make sure to follow and don't forget to read the parenthetical guidelines, <laughs> okay? All right, let me see. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and join us next week as we code another scenario. If you would like to learn more about AMCI, please visit us at the link in the description. Also, if you have any suggestions or requests, please leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. See you next week. Thank you for watching an AMCI exclusive presentation.